Neptown Tuner here, like and subscribe. I got another two liter video here. I'm testing out a freshly built engine and on first startup, I hear a noise. Do you know what noise I'm talking about? There's a vacuum leak, I hear a hissing noise. It's kind of a high pitch, kind of a high pitch ringing. So vacuum on this engine goes to the whole entire crankcase. But I can isolate it just by doing this. Disconnecting this hose right here and stopping the vacuum to the whole entire engine. And then I can isolate if the vacuum leak is anywhere in the intake manifold. For instance, if I disconnected this line right here. You see there's vacuum coming through this hose. There it is again, you hear the ringing? I do have a new breather on this thing. What, did it mess up the gasket or something? I don't know where it's coming from. So the next step is I'm gonna disconnect it right here. And I gotta do this very fast because it can stall the engine, because this makes a, a massive air leak. So I want you to hear the difference. No more vacuum leak. I'm going to suspect this breather assembly next, even though it's brand new. So I gotta shut the engine off and I'm gonna take that off and see what I can find. Now I don't know if I'm gonna be able to connect this and keep this thing running, but I'm gonna try. Uh, there it is, vacuum leak came back. All right, I'm gonna take this thing off next. We'll see what's up. Now you gotta pop these coils out. I didn't even disconnect any of these. I just pulled this back, popped the coils out, and then I had my uh, right angle impact driver there and I zipped those screws out. Now it's gonna be best to take your magnet and one by one pull these screws out so you don't try to wiggle this thing out and maybe you drop them. So pull them out one by one with a magnet. You know, in a different video, I took this apart and this is supposed to have this little nub built in here, but playing around with uh, some crankcase ventilation setups, I chopped that nub off and uh, this right here is supposed to be a diagnostic channel where that little hole is. So look, I'm just testing this for the long block anyway. Technically I'd be keeping my turbo and uh, I don't really care about the intake manifold and stuff, but the turbo is the most important thing to, to keep if I were to sell the engine because the turbo conditions are all over the board. But, uh, you know, if someone else had a bad turbo, then that would have to be more expensive because I can't just give away turbos. But uh, instead of replacing this whole thing right now, just to see if it's this, I'm going to plug this hole with this. I chopped this one out of an engine that I bought from LKQ over there, that, that engine right there. So everything was kind of chopped up on that one anyway. So you don't need to know all these details anyway. Uh, Cause some people would be like, why don't you just put the whole thing on? Well, the engine's hot right now and that's the turbocharger. So it's easier for me to diagnose it quickly by just chopping off a used junk because uh, look, th that was a junkyard engine and whenever they do junkyard engines, they just chop stuff. So this one right here was chopped right there. So that part on that engine was bad anyway. So now I'm gonna take this little plug and put it in here and look at that. Now I'm gonna put this thing back together like so and see if I still have a vacuum leak. Did I mention that was supposed to be called the diagnostic channel? So I don't know. We'll figure it out. Turns out that's exactly what it was. Well, I wasn't gonna mess up on an actual vacuum leak. What do you think? Come on now. But at least you got to hear what a vacuum leak sounds like. And then you, you so the engine's vibrating just a little bit, right? Well, I just barely have this thing put together. 
I've only got a couple of the bell housing bolts in. I don't have the motor mount bolts in. Oh, what's that rattle? But this thing is beat to death. This car right here, I've been absolutely torturing this car. See, I don't have the cross brace in there. I just put bare minimum in there just to test it. But it's good enough to drive. I can drive it like this. I don't have, I don't have these uh, transmission lines bolted in, nothing. This is my test vehicle. I can rip this engine back out in about 20 minutes. All right, I better open the garage door. I spotted this B5. Wait, this is a B6. Check out the open hood exhaust and the Mishimoto intercooler. I guess I'll check out the exhaust real quick. It says Sin Nudes. Ooh, it doesn't even, it's not even coming out, but I bet you used to. This is the sweetheart spot, if you know what I mean. Occasions like this, you put it in S mode. I don't want to get stuck up here in the middle of the night. No, no, no. Also don't want a hole in the oil pan or in the brake lines. This was pretty adventurous.
Naptown Tuner game time. You see this one's been sitting. The tarp just came off of it right there. We got some poop on the oil cap. So this one's missing on a cylinder. It was diagnosed by someone with a broken piston, damaged cylinder, and it's getting a full engine build. But what did I bring? I brought a prepped block and a rebuilt cylinder head. And it's Naptown Tuner game time. Going absolutely fantastic already. I'm met with a nest under here. What kind of nest? A rat nest? Well, let's clean this out.